hi guys this is a quick video to show you how you could save on an inbuilt style wardrobe so basically ikea offers this option where you could um customize a wardrobe to suit whatever um space you've got so this is the style we've chosen for our bedroom we've chosen like an overbed style um i'm just going to go ahead to show you quickly what it looks like inside So I've got the left side, which where I store my stuff. Um, I've got my, I've got the hanging, the hanging bit, and I've also chosen these clips here where you could hang like whatever it is you want to hang in there, your jewelry bags or whatever. This is a pull-out um, hanger for your clothes. And at the bottom, I've got the, I've got the drawers. I've got three in there. You could choose whatever style you want when you decide to um, design yours. Um, at the top i'm going to show you one side because i've got stuff on these two sides here um so basically this is what everything at the top looks like um it's got two sections here here you could get one of those um ikea bins where you can store your trousers just so, just so you can store things more neatly just to avoid having to store things directly on the cabinet here i'm going to show you the right side where my husband stores his clothes so he's chosen a different style a different storage style so he's just got two hanging sections so at the top bit there he stores his shirts and well he hangs a shirt and at the bottom he hangs his um, trousers for work and at the top there he's got like the ikea bins where he stores shirts and trousers and same for me as well so one thing to note is all of this comes flat packed so you have the option on the ikea website to choose well to select for a handyman to come in to help you but my husband decided to do this himself so it took him about two to three days to do that so handyman and you could get someone to help you or assist you in um, setting this up because everything comes in flat pack like i said also another important thing to note is you notice up there we've got a skirting board that this here that's the skirting board there when we took our measurements we didn't factor that in so you'll see the top of our cupboards is not aligned so you want it's very important to note that make sure you take your measurement factor in that you've got the skirting board in there so you might want to take your measurement from below the skirting board so in my next clip i'm going to show you how it works on the ikea website the different styles they've got yeah thank you Hi guys, so um, in this clip I'm going to be showing you how to um, customize your um, wardrobe on IKEA. So you go to the IKEA website, which is www.ikea.com forward slash GB if you're in the UK. So what you need to do is in the search, um, in the search for product, you type in Pax Fitted Wardrobe and you should get something like this. If you scroll down just a little bit, you should see something that says PAX Planner. And also just right here, you can see they did mention you can get like an assembly service. So you can, I mean, let's just click on that just so you can see. Yeah. So it just gives you information on how and what. Basically, it gives you information on using the um, assembly service basically. So I'm going to go back now and we're going to select PAX Planner. Right, so it opens up a window that comes like this. So you can see your price here. So once you select, once you start to select stuff, the price starts to change. Okay, so basically it shows you like a template of what your room would look like. Okay, and then you can just basically start to select. Let's just see view black gallery. Just some information, just so you can get an idea of. So you can have like other ideas of what 
or the rooms look like and you can kind of like decide what you want if you don't already know what you want basically so as you can see here they have like a corner there's a corner wardrobe here they got they got quite a few corner wardrobes they've got this style as well so basically you can just click on the gallery just to see different ideas of wardrobes basically okay so i'm just gonna well you could select one of these but i mean i'm gonna assume you want to customize it to fit your your room style so you can just click on create packs from scratch now so it shows you what options you have so you can either go for like a square wardrobe you can go for an l-shaped however l-shaped you want it okay so let's just go for I'm just going to select a random one, this one, and then you can click on start designing. So you select what kind of frames you want. So, of course, before you do this, you should have taken measurements of what your room would look like. So let's say... So I will select frames. Here you can see whatever um there's different styles or different colours of frames and different sizes. So you can just add them on one by one. So I've chosen one. So you pick it and drag it to where you want it basically. Now it tells you the height so you can um, select different heights and different widths. So for example I'm going to click on this one on the left right. And with this one you can either change color change height change depth okay so let's say i want this going up to my ceiling and don't forget i didn't mention about the skirting board so if you have a skirting board in your bedroom you need to factor that in when you take your measurements okay so you can change height and well because it's it's customized but they're not gonna ikea has a limit on the maximum height it will go so you can only go as far as what you have available but i mean it's usually close enough okay so let's click on change height again so as you can see there's just two there's just these two different heights so if you're if you want it to go a lot higher than 236 centimeters then this is the maximum it, it will go basically okay then you can change You can change the depth, which is like how it's the projection of the wardrobe. Yeah, so you can make that smaller or bigger, basically. So basically, it has just two, which is about 35 centimeters and 58 centimeters. So you have to decide with it between those two um, measurements, basically. Now, if you click on this wardrobe, of course, you want them to be aligned. So if they're going to be making this height then you're gonna want to match that as well so change height as well okay now you can select what type of doors you want so this is just for the fun of it you can select sliding doors and you can see the different styles of sliding doors they have i'm sure they'll have a mirrored one as well I guess not. So well they do have a frosted glass frosted glass sliding door. Yeah, white glass sliding door. So let's just select that one. Yeah. 
you're just going to drag that to where you want it now I just tried to put a sliding door here so clearly if it doesn't make any sense to have a sliding door on a on this style of wardrobe right so it's not going to let that happen so probably you can just choose a, a normal door so I guess to want to have a sliding door you need to have like a double um, so you want to put these two together I guess probably and let's see let's try that now okay so it won't let you drag that to this style of wardrobe so you'll have to get a different style so it'll use a sliding door so i'm just going to move this back to you can rotate that because that has to be i'm just gonna undo okay so i have my wardrobe back to where it was now so basically I, I'm sure you have an idea of what I'm talking about so you basically just go down select what style of doors what style of wardrobe you want the price keep changing at the top here and when you're done you click submit so I'm just going to do that add to basket and then it also gives you it also shows you some um, complementary products that should go with your style of wardrobe so you can go you can have like a laundry basket some hanging um, some coat hangers some different things and all you have to do is just click add to basket and that's it really okay so yeah if you do have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below um i haven't done this in like two years so it's been a while so yeah i'm sure there's a help section as well you can always contact ikea if you need if you have any additional questions so the key to things to note is if you have any sketching boards in your bedroom you need to take note of that and also if you're not able to fit this yourself because they do come flat packed you have to consider using the assembly service directly from IKEA or you might have to find your handyman yourself okay thank you for watching bye